I was feeling very, very worried that I just like wasn't prepared enough and that I was not going to do well at the competition. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin and in less than two weeks, I will be leaving to go compete at the IPSF's World Pole and Aerial Championships, which is taking place in Poland this year. So I thought I would come on here and update you all on how my training has been going. This is actually a part two video. I did another video a little while ago on my first few weeks of training and how that all went. So if you want the context on that, go to that previous video. But let's just get straight into how my training has been going recently. If I'm honest, um, the past few weeks have been a lot. It's been very stressful, a lot of ups and downs, and my training hasn't exactly gone the way that I would have liked it to. Okay, so the last video we ended off in July, and let's pick back up there. So July was pretty okay. I started doing full runs of my routine, and we increased the conditioning that we were doing in our group competition training sessions to three rounds of conditioning. Things were looking pretty good. My runs obviously weren't looking fantastic yet, but it was okay because we still had like quite a lot of time to go before Worlds. It was still early days with training, so I wasn't feeling too stressed about it at that point. I was doing between one and two runs of my routine in a training session, depending on the day. My conditioning was going well. There'd been small adjustments to my training program. Um, in terms of my conditioning from the previous like training that I was doing, conditioning training that I was doing, but nothing major. I was still doing a, a pull and abs session once a week and a push and legs session once a week. The exercises were very similar, but basically like increasing reps slightly, increasing weight slightly where I was able to. Still doing my physio exercises as normal and then still doing my pole training kind of the same number of times per week which was one group competition training session on a Saturday and then two kind of of my own training sessions where I would sometimes run my routine and more often than not not run my routine and just work on individual elements. So that was July which was from about like week 11 of training to week 13 of training. August continued kind of similar and was actually really good in terms of my like conditioning, my fitness and my strength. I felt like I was making such huge like improvements in my strength. I'm busy editing this video now and I'm jumping back in to say this because I can't believe that I forgot to mention this in the actual video, but August was the month where I did my first ever pull up. Um, like in literally in my entire life, my first pull up that I've ever done. From a conditioning perspective, August was like a phenomenal month. I was feeling so strong, like so capable and so motivated as well, just because of all the results and the progress that I was seeing. I also focused during this time on going back to more pole classes. So I was attending a pole class um every tuesday week pretty much every tuesday tuesday during the week and then i was also trying to fit in on a wednesday when i could so my pole moves were coming along really nicely my handspring was feeling really solid my shoulder mount was also feeling pretty solid i was felt like i had finally like kind of turned a corner with it and was really consistently getting my shoulder mount um, and I was doing moves in pole classes that I'd never been able to do before. I got my first elbow Aisha and I was just feeling like so strong and so confident. Everything was going really great. My runs were again looking like not bad for the stage of training that I was at and I was really happy with it. And then I got sick. So at the end of August, beginning of September, I I, I, it was like the 31st of August, I know, and I woke up and my throat was on fire. I'd slept like terribly the night before, had barely gotten any sleep, um, was n n barely able to even talk. My throat was so, so sore and it had come out of nowhere. I went to the doctor and turned out I had um, acute tonsillitis, um, bacterial and fungal tonsillitis. So that was super fun. And I obviously had to take some time off training to recover from that. All in all, I was out for less than a week. But when I came back, I just felt like all my progress had been lost. Like I felt in like such this huge dip of like really not getting things. I lost my shoulder mount for a while. I wasn't getting it in any of my runs. Um, I was sometimes able to do it like when I just trained it by itself, but I wasn't able to do my shoulder mount in my runs, which was super demotivating. My Aisha felt weak. My hands were slipping um, and it was really, really not great. And I got into such like a funk about it. 
And some days were better than others, but overall I just felt like I was not progressing. And this was also the time where like everything starts to feel real. So like September is was my last is our last full month before Worlds. Worlds is at the end of October. So like October, yes, it's still technically a month, but like September is like really like when it gets to crunch time. Like somehow july august it felt like worlds was so far away but all of a sudden in september it felt like it was so close time was going so quickly and i just felt like i wasn't achieving what i needed to achieve and doing what i needed to do to feel like prepared and ready so it was really stressful amongst all of this um in kind of like end of August and beginning of September, I was having also a really stressful time at work. Things were really, really busy at work. Um, I felt like I wasn't being able to dedicate enough time, as much time that I wanted to, to training because I was like always getting caught up with work and having so many other things going on at the same time. So all in all, I was just like in not a great mental space, not a great physical space. I feel like my body took a really long time to recover fully from being sick because of how like stressed and overwhelmed and anxious I was feeling so it took me a really long time to kind of recover and recuperate. So yeah things were not going well and it was really really hard to keep a positive attitude. During this time kind of the beginning of September I also changed up my conditioning program and my like exercise routines um I sat with my coach I did a couple of private sessions with her and we really talked through it and decided that it would be best to switch a couple of things up based on the way that I was um kind of performing the progress I had made so far and what had and hadn't been working so for from kind of the 4th of September my program changed and I switched around days a little bit so I moved my push and legs day to a Thursday so that I would have more of a like recovery day on Wednesday and if I needed to I was able to take Wednesday as a full recovery day and maybe just do stretch. There was a lira and a pole class that I was sometimes attending on a Wednesday but pretty much for the whole of September I just skipped those classes and took Wednesday as an extra rest and recovery day because I that's really what my body needed at the moment. I was like really not coping with the like stress and the amount that I was doing so giving myself that extra day of like rest and recovery and the extra time at home to just like decompress was really really essential um I still kept my pull and my abs session on a Monday but some of my exercises in that changed so I'll talk you through that program now so my pull-ups actually even after being sick was still looking kind of good. It was the one thing that didn't really completely go away. So I was really happy about that. So I continued on with the pull-ups, but I did them all at the beginning of my pull session. So instead of um, doing like them as the, at the start of every round, but doing a bunch of exercises in between each set of pull-ups, I would do all my um, true grip pull-ups or like parallel grip pull-ups at the beginning of the session, aiming for four sets, most of the time getting two or three pull-ups of like just one rep but that was still really good considering that I had never done a pull-up before this year so really happy about that then I would do negative pull-ups with a wide grip um, and that I would do three of those have a rest then I would do a hollow body hold cable rows rest straight leg raise one straight leg raise uh, five knee tucks then another rest and then jackknives and some back extensions because I was feeling like I really needed to add in some more um, exercises for my posterior chain and making sure like my back and my hamstrings were keeping up with like the strength improvements I was making towards the front side of my body. So I would repeat that two to three times, aiming for three, sometimes only getting two depending on the day. And then I would follow up that with some upper body stretching, really focusing on my shoulder stretching and my back for all the like, well, it's actually only really one back flexibility move that I do in my routine. So that would be a Monday. Tuesday would be my same normal physio exercises that I discussed in my previous video, uh, really focusing on core stability, shoulder stability, um, and also um, glute and back activation as well with some pole training on a Tuesday. And I was pretty much like most weeks get attending a pole class on that day as well. Like I said, rest day pretty much became a <laughs> Wednesday, pretty much became a rest day um, where I wouldn't really do much on a Wednesday. Uh, sometimes I would attend a Lyra uh, or a pole class, but I actually don't think I attended any of those in September. Um, I did stretch class a couple of times, but otherwise I would just stretch at home. 
Thursday then became my push and legs day. Thursday was also a day I did a lot of teaching in the evening, uh, teaching pole classes. So I would usually do that push and legs workout before I started teaching for the evening. And then also try and sometimes fit in some leg stretching, uh, maybe a little bit of up back stretching if I could. Um, and this push and legs program also changed slightly. So I'll take you through that again. So I was still doing um, eight to 10 eccentric pushups using a knee to come up. But what was really great during this time period, even though like I was feeling so shit in terms of my pole training, is that I got my first push up and I'm now able to actually do three push ups in a row from following this conditioning program. So I can do three push ups in a row and then I after the three push-ups would go back to using my knees to come up trying to go for one knee to come up and then lowering down with control i was doing split squats after that then resting incline push-ups um trying to kind of lower the incline as i progressed squats usually 30 of those uh hindu push-ups and then banded walks for my glutes as well as finishing off that um whole list with a one minute plank repeating usually only two times very rarely would i actually get in a third set of that because this workout like really killed me like there's a lot of like obviously push-ups in that program and then my legs would also like usually be dying out by the end of set two and i would also be running out of time so um usually only two sets of that but i was supposed to be aiming for three Friday, again, physio exercises and a little bit of pole training if I could. And then I also taught on Friday or teach on Friday evenings. And then Saturday, my um, group training, competition training session, where it's really focused on running my routine. So that was kind of the schedule I started following from September. It is now currently October and I finally feel like I'm kind of like back in a good mental and physical space in terms of especially my pole routine i've the past few training sessions that i've had i've actually had really good runs of my routine i've been really happy with myself i've been able to achieve all my moves that i needed to um, achieve i've made a couple of tweaks and couple of changes to my routine that have really just like enhanced and made it easier for me to get through and easier for me to achieve all of the compulsories um, and all of the bonuses that i want to achieve so it's really looking good from that perspective now and I feel like my strength has finally like kind of it's taken like a month to like fully probably recover from that sickness that that tonsillitis that I got at the beginning of September but I finally feel like I've got like my full strength back I'm actually able to achieve um, again the moves that I need to achieve I'm doing my shoulder mount in my routine again which is great I'm able to hold my Aisha and um, get through my routine on time with the music so that has really helped um, my like mental space as well because I'm feeling a lot less stressed and anxious. I was feeling very, very worried that I just like wasn't prepared enough and that I was not going to do well at the competition because I wasn't prepared enough. But I'm finally feeling like I'm back in a good like mental space with that and actually feeling like, you know what, I actually will be ready. Um, as of today, I've got less than two weeks left. I was counting. I've got exactly five training sessions left before we leave, plus a couple of training sessions once we're there in Poland. So it's really getting close now and really getting like to crunch time. This last little bit of time before I leave for Poland is now all about really just polishing, refining a routine, like getting all of the like kinks and small bits that I'm still struggling with out, making sure I'm fully practiced and feeling confident going into the competition. Um, I might start to reduce my conditioning a little bit just to help with like my body's recovery because obviously now um, I really need to make sure that my body is like well rested and prepared for actually competing, but I probably will keep up um, the conditioning mostly the same until I leave. Obviously we have, I think it's like two days of travel that it takes me or like a day and a half of travel that it takes me to actually get to Poland. We have quite a long layover at, um, I'm flying through Heathrow, so at Heathrow Airport. So that's going to be like basically like a mandatory enforced rest period. And then I won't be doing any conditioning once we actually get to Poland. But we do have several training sessions booked in at a studio in Poland to run my routine a couple of times before the competition starts. Competition officially starts on Wednesday, the 25th of October, I think is the opening ceremony in the evening. And then I only compete on the Sunday, the 29th. I've actually got a horrible time slot. I compete at like, I think it's like 8.30 in 
the morning or 8 40 in the morning i'm one of the first people for the day which is not nice because i usually like to have a lot of time to like warm up and prepare myself but do you know what it is what it is and i will be fine so there will be a live stream if you are interested in watching along for the whole competition um i'll post links to that on instagram and everything when they become available but yeah that's pretty much me and like it's it's really scary that it's so close to the competition now i am really starting to get excited about like going there now i'm coaching someone this year for the first time which is also super super exciting and i'm really really excited to like go there with her and see her routines and you know be there as a coach so that is a super like fun new experience for me obviously like i always really enjoy competing when i'm there and just like you know seeing everyone like meeting other athletes it's going to be such a great experience and like i said i'm i'm starting to feel a little bit more ready now a little bit less stressed and panicked um i'm starting to prepare and pack everything that i need to pack for the trip make sure i've got all of the things that i need and everything's in order but i'll do a full video on like all my preparations for leaving and actually like traveling internationally so if you want to see that stay tuned subscribe to the channel um but yeah i think that's pretty much it from me if you have any questions on like my training and like what it's like to train for a competition like this let me know um i'm more than happy to answer i might do a little q a at some point but anyway that's it for today thank you for watching this video and um like it if you enjoyed it and want to see more videos like this of me talking about my training talking about pole and all of that and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already um and yeah thanks so much for watching bye